Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm. This was probably one of my favorite months so far. I got an extra product and I was able to do a full face of makeup with this box. So if you'd like to see what I got inside this month, then please keep watching. So this is what the box looks like this month and you get your card on top and this month is called Rock 2018 and of course you've got your products and how much everything is worth and how to use everything on the end. The first thing is this guy right here. So this is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil. So it retails for $24 and I believe everybody got the same color. So it's universal taupe. I heard online that depending on how heavy your hand is, is how dark you can get it. So it's really a universal color that every hair color can use. So it looks like this. You've got your spoolie on one side, which I love brow pencils that have the spoolie on one side so you can just flip back and forth. And then you've got your brow power color on this side. So it's just kind of a simple circular. It doesn't have any real shape to it, I don't think. So I'm, I've never used this before, so I'm just gonna try to do my brows. did my other eyebrow and I'm thinking this color is still a little too dark for me. I mean it's not that chocolatey brown dark but it's just a lot darker than what I usually use. It's called taupe but my taupe that I use from Anastasia Beverly Hills is like a lighter color. Um, but yeah this is still an awesome product. It Cosmetics is a great brand. The next thing in the box is this guy right here. This is the Glam Metals eyeshadow palette from the brand Crown Pro. We've received um, brushes from the brand Crown Pro before so it just comes in a little uni carton and it looks like this. Super cute. You've got your guitar um, shaped mirror at the top and then you've got these lovely shades here down below so we've got a uh, matte black and then the rest are all shimmery so I would say that you would need another palette to play with this guy so that you can get your transition colors in and kind of blend them all together before you add in these so colors I just went here. in and put a neutral color in my crease and now I'm going to go in with the color wild thing which is this nice almost reddish light color. I'm just gonna go in with this flat brush. Sometimes it's better to use your finger, but I always like to test it out with a new color. Just gonna flatten my lid a bit. Ooh, it's a pretty color. So lots of pigment is coming off nice and sparkly. Ooh, I like this color a lot. So I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush here and just blend out these harsh lines. And I'm not doing too crazy of a look. I just want to test these shadows out. So you don't have to add much on your brush and you get lots of color payoff on your lid. So that's always nice. I really like this palette so far. And then tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to spray with my setting spray because that should make the color pop a bit more. Just like this. One spray. Just to get it wet. You can even use water if you don't have a setting spray just to get the shadow wet. Oh yeah. Just makes those sparkly colors pop more. 
I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two, but it's like way better with the wet brush. Just kind of patting that color in a bit. Very nice. I really like these. So I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm just going to add a little bit of product from this color in the middle called Rebel and it's got so much payoff. It's a nice gold color. And I'm just going to put that on the highest point of my lid. Just like that. And then I'm just going to do the same on this side. That's just going to add a bit of dimension. Ooh, I love this color. A little trick I like to do um, before you go in with any face products is get a makeup wipe. Just put your finger around it like this and then Clean up underneath and draw a straight line out and that's going to help you if you're going to do any eyeliner to kind of follow that line. There and then it just cleans it all up underneath. So this eyeshadow palette retails for $25. I'm really impressed with this palette. It, the pigmentation is awesome and yeah, I'm loving it. Again, it's not really a full palette where you've got your transitional colors. You don't get that in this palette, so you'll want to pull out another palette to get started. But I mean, you can always just go in and pop one of these shimmery shadows on your lid and be done with it. Um, yeah, so for $25, I am loving this palette. It's also super small, good for traveling. Next thing in the box, this guy right here, full spectrum eyeliner pencil. It's from the brand Makeup Geek. I freaking love Makeup Geek, so this excites me. Last month's box, I got a product that I had received in the past, so they told me not to worry that they'd send me an extra product in my January box. So with this being my extra product, it doesn't actually say on here um, anything about this product, but pretty straightforward. It's a uh, eyeliner. Um, yeah, but I don't know how much it's worth. It's called Plumberia. Ooh, that's nice. I'm just gonna try to pop this into my waterline. It's almost like a gel pencil. Ooh, it goes on really nice. Okay, so I just added some black eyeliner and mascara and a little bit of eyebrow highlight because that's not in the box and I also removed the red that was in my waterline because I just thought it looked really weird. Um, I do like this pencil. I can tell it's good quality. I'm just not so sure about the color. Um, I should have tried it on my uh, upper lid instead of the black but I just didn't think it would match the shadows that I have. So the next thing in the box is this guy right here. Um, now this is the Luminizer Primer from the brand Dr. Brandt. I love this brand. We've received Dr. Brandt twice in BoxyCharm. Well, I've received it twice in BoxyCharm in the past and it's a really good face line. Um, so I'm super stoked to try this out. So I've got clean hands. My face is moisturized. I've got my hair pinned back. I'm just going to try out this primer. So it's supposed to be luminizing. Okay, so it's got a bit of a color to it. It has a weird smell. It almost smells like some kind of weird medicated lotion or something. It feels like a lotion, but I can tell right away that it dries down tacky, which is what you want in a primer, something that you're uh, foundation is going to stick to. It does make my face look very, um, what's the word, 
dewy and uh, hydrated and shiny in certain spots. So we'll see once I put the foundation on um, if it makes it look any different. Okay, so I just used my Maybelline 24 hour foundation. Um, this is the new guy that I got and it's super stay full coverage so it's supposed to dry matte. So I wanted to try sort of a matte foundation with this luminous primer to see if it really made my face look dewy and glowy and I do think that it does. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell with my lighting in here but um, I think it did a pretty good job of kind of making that inner glow look if you will. It's it's definitely making my um, matte foundation appear more glowy so um, that's awesome. It retails for $38 so it's a pricey primer. I'm excited that we got that in the box and it's got one fluid ounce so yeah one of the biggest primers I own now. And the other thing I was gonna say is I find that when you're trying out a foundation or a primer you kind of have to keep trying it. Different primers under that foundation or different foundations over that primer to find the perfect combination. This is just my first time trying this with this foundation. Next time I might try it with say my Kat Von D or my Rihanna Fenty. Just try it with different things before you make your full um, opinion on it because it'll probably look and feel different under every foundation. So I just added some powder to my face off camera. Now the next thing in the box is this guy right here. This is Pure Cosmetics. It's called Bronzer and Brightener. Brighten? Bronze and Brighten. Um, I love this brand and this retails for $34. So that's another really good price range. You've got your blush, highlight, and bronzer. Now these three colors are look very shimmery. Oh yeah. There's the highlight and there's the bronzer. So there are three shimmery products. Now, sometimes when you add things to the face, they don't actually show up as shimmery. So I just went in with a more of a matte bronzer to put under my cheekbones here to kind of have a base for this other bronzer because I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. Put some bronzer on there. Tap it off and That actually adds a really nice glow to the skin. I don't know if my lighting is good in here or not, but it's not like a whole bunch of sparkle on your face. It's actually really nice bronzer. So you always want to make sure you're blending your bronzer in so that it doesn't look like someone just stamped you with some brown stuff. And then I always like to take it up over the forehead a bit, just basically wherever the natural sun would hit your face is where you want to add in that bronzer. Ooh, not bad. I actually really like this bronzer blush brush this one's a bit smaller but still very fluffy just dip into that blush again this is very natural kind of subtle looking don't let the brightness and shimmeriness of this palette scare you because I find once you put it on the skin, it's actually um, quite a natural highlight or a natural finish to the skin. Now I'm going to go in with this um, highlighting brush. This is the Sephora Pro Highlight number 98 brush. I've never used this. This is new. So I'm just going to tap into this highlight and see <gasps> Ooh, I love it oh oh it's so nice oh, you guys oh I love this highlight 
so it's almost got a gold reflex in it and I'm like a huge fan of gold highlights but it's not like all gold oh my goodness oh, this is my new favorite highlight oh girl so I always have learned to you know put highlight on your nose but recently I have found that I have a lot of texture on my nose here like little bumps and stuff so I don't want to make that I don't want to pull forward those that texture so I'm gonna just highlight the end of my nose Cupid's bow right in here oh my gosh I could bathe in this highlight <gasps> Okay, I should probably stop or I'm going to be like a light bulb. <gasps> oh, this combination. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face looks really nice now that I've added these three products. So natural and, well, the highlight obviously isn't like the natural glow that you get, but this is like the highlight of this box. I knew this product was coming and I really was like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to like it because literally when you look at it, it's like, pretty bright colors but like I've said a million times now I'm excited for the last this thing in this box this month is this guy right here and this is the girl actic matte lip paint and it's a nice color this retails for $23 if I could get it open that'd be great Ooh, I love any colors like this they go with everything Mm, it smells good. I always like to smell my lip products. So I'm actually just going to add a, a lip liner before I add that. I've really been loving this. This is the Nude Suede Shoes NYX lip liner. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this on so that the lip paint stays on my lips. I'm going to try this out for the first time. I'm in love so that was only one dip into this and I've got my whole lips covered um, it's very creamy and liquidy so it's easy to move the product around and it's starting to dry down matte very comfortable on the lips so far don't mind my application I'm not the greatest at applying lip products Ooh, I'm loving this look. This is a really cute color. So this is in the color Posh. Again, it's called Galactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint. And uh, yeah, this is a great product. And this retails for $23. So I'm impressed with this box. I almost got a full face of makeup with this box. Um, they stuck to their word about giving me an extra product because they had given me a duplicate product, which was pretty cool because I ended up just giving my duplicate product to my girlfriend because I don't need to. <laughs> and uh, I got an extra product this month, so that is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so all together, let's add this box up. So where I live, this box is $35 a month, and all together, my box is worth $144. I think that's one of the most expensive boxes I've received yet. I'm super impressed with all these products. I'll definitely be using everything. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, that was January's Boxy Charm. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to get the subscription, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. Thanks.